Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're going to do a haul from I think yard sales and estate sales that we hit last weekend and earlier in the week. Y'all, you know that, that, that saying, when it rains it pours? I fail. I fail. I went a whole week, even went to the gym, went a whole week and decided to go to the doctor yesterday and it's fractured. I fractured my wrist. <gasps> You're rotten. Rotten. All right, y'all. So I've got just, it wasn't a whole lot of stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead. We do have some footage that we will have shared with you. Are we going to do it before or after this? Is this the beginning? I always get this messed up. This will be the beginning. Okay. So you're getting ready to see some footage. Yeah, you're about to see some footage from... And you just saw technical and thought process incompetence out of us because we start in and we're supposed to have an intro, a little quick one, and then the footage, and then we're going to start what we're going to show you. Well, this is the busted intro. This is the busted intro. So here's the footage of some of the stuff. Oh, y'all. Yeah. He messed up. Well, no, not really. The GoPro, when you get out from an air-conditioned truck into the heat of Tennessee, the camera just completely clouded up on us, and we didn't realize what was happening. So there's not a whole lot of footage from the weekend, and that's the reason why. Because, you know, Robert's wearing the GoPro, the air conditioning's on him, and then when he stepped outside, y'all, we had... We had a really funny thing to share with you guys that happened on camera, but we lost it because the GoPro was erroring out. I don't know if it's because of the humidity or what. It's the the thing is, is that she's always cold, so she never has the AC vents blowing on her. Mm -mm. I'm always hot, so they're always blowing on me. And I'm wearing the camera in the truck. The vents are blowing on it. It got cold. So as soon as I step out into the humidity, the camera would fog it's up. It's funny. You would see the camera go very very and then and eventually if it stayed on long enough it would clear up yep all right so here's the footage from some of the yard cells Howdy. How are y'all doing? All right. You stay up? Doing all right. Good. How much are these? Um, a dollar a page. What do you got on the pan? Man? That one's got a stain. That's all right. It'll come out. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, five. Five dollars. I'm looking for his fries. I heard the other one who's beside me. There, there is a tennis right there. Look. This one has his little, this one has his little. No, no, no. Yes, he has his little poof. Now, I may have said I'd pay cake with my ham and ginger, but I actually cut it and I just did. What is it? It's a leapfrog. Hold on. A leapfrog? I googled it. It used to be 50. I ain't found him in a while. So we'll see. With this, maybe more. I assume you don't want him for a dollar. No. Who are you? Two dollars. Who are you? Yes. E. I don't even know why she wants a sponge bob. She's turning. Hi. 
Ten. They like things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to take these, okay. I'll just work on getting him. You yeah. go out there. My son. Okay. 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 No. Okay. Yeah. I just dropped that out. And we're back. All right, let me show you some of the stuff that you didn't see and then some of the stuff that you did see. Because the Barbie movie came out this week, um, I went ahead and bought some stuff that I probably wouldn't normally, and I didn't really check to see if it's affecting, but I did come across- If it's affecting what? If it's affecting um, prices on eBay and everything. But I did come across all of these Barbie DVDs how much did I pay for all these? I think they were a dollar each. I think they were. So it was kind of an out on the limb for me because I don't normally spend that much on DVDs. But surely we will get our money back if we sell them as a lot. Right. So I went ahead and grabbed that. But that wasn't the only thing. It's kind of funny. It was a kind of a Barbie weekend for me. And I'm not. I bought a huge tote. One of those big totes full of books. I paid $20 for the whole tote. This is just some of them. Oh, look, I've got the Barbie and Friends Book Club. There's a whole pile more of these books. I don't know exactly how many. Probably, based on that stack, maybe 20 to 30. 20 to 30 me. Barbie books. Unless there are other books stuck in there. Look how cute that is. That in and of itself is probably something somebody will want. And then, it also in that tote, there was a whole series of these. I only grabbed a couple. Getting to Know Nature's Children, like that. And then there was a whole series of these, which are Alice in Bible Land, you know, just Bible storybooks. And I paid $20. The tote itself is probably at least $5. And, and then I got a bunch of books. I keep saying I was going to start buying more books, especially these types of books where you can buy sets. So it was just a good opportunity. 
this was from one yard sale. I paid five dollars for it which I normally would not pay five dollars for a game but it was sealed and I think the comps were like 25 to 30 dollars for this so I went ahead and grabbed it and then brought same yard sale Robert picked up I think these puzzles I'm not gonna hold them with this hand but this one it was sealed is sealed which is good because I don't like 2,000 piece puzzles that's a lot of people. I don't know if our board would hold it. I don't think so either. And then people love, I talk about this white mountain puzzles, even though this isn't like the, the pop culture type ones. Um, we still enjoy doing these. Robert bought this. This is a sewing machine, but it says Janom, Janom on the outside, but it says fried Kenmore on the inside. What's on the inside? No idea. Well, he Could bought a fried computer, I mean, sewing machine based on the fact that probably we'll try to sell it for parts, They're right? Sell it for parts. Josh Graff, he has a YouTube channel. He sells on eBay and he buys a lot of sewing machines and parts them out and does well with them, it seems like. So I'm channeling my inner Josh. There you go. And it, they said they plugged it into a 220 briefly and turned it on and it fried it or something so maybe it's an easy repair probably not but parts would be easy yeah we're all about the parts right all right and then he picked this up it is a like a pretend play atm it did have the little card here um paid a dollar for it and what was the comps on it i didn't see that exact one but similar atm style toys were 20 to 30. So hopefully it works and he bought there was like one yard sale and I think it was a couple of different family members and one of the rooms had like this kind of stuff this is a first aid pouch Robert paid five dollars for it is this personal or are we reselling it that's mine it's for Robert so put a first aid kit in your car yep All right, and then he grabbed this kind of cute it's one of these 3d you guys can't really tell but it's 3d we paid how much for it two two dollars for it and there was a comp i saw, I saw the first thing i saw on ebay was there was a listing for 75 dollars. i doubt it'll go for 75 dollars, but it's something different and if Could it's not worth anything then we know a young we man that young would man like to have it on his wall love to have it yeah, you guys saw the footage on this. This is a... Love it. I like to pick them up. I don't remember the brand. Oh, wait. Here's one. It is... Still no brand. No brand. It's uh, um unique enough. I'll probably be able to get it from Google Lens. I've done well with cow loveys and horse loveys. So, there's that. And then... I don't know where the other one went, but there I picked up two of these type of plush where they've got the nylon body. This particular one is Gibson Greeting. I think I still list these for like ten to fifteen dollars. So you could do you call this a puff lump onesie? No. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. It is TB Trading Company. Just interesting. I like that the the nose has like thread on it. Just very intriguing. I'll probably list it for 15 to 20. Couple of smalls. Look at these. They are applause. Like they they don't use the word, but they Velcro together. You'll have to use hook and loop or whatever it's called. Just in little things. Of course, I had to grab this. I think I have a different one listed already. It's Fisher Price. This is one of those tags that if you wash this, that's going to go bye bye. So I won't be um, washing it. But I think I have another one that's similar to this, and I may end it and make a small lot. Or it might just make it to my wall. I don't know. Now, this was, it says My Favorite Company, 1999. But I was able to make it make sounds, but now I don't remember how I did it. It makes sounds. Just needs a little bit of spot cleaning. 
but I just loved it. And it's vintage, 1999. I'm hoping like 15 to 20 for it. I'm gonna have Robert show you what Robert bought. Y'all, don't be sending hate. Send it to Robert if you're gonna send it. Look. He says we're selling this. Of course. And what was some of the comps that you saw? Look how big it is, though, y'all. Look, the branches stick way out, out, out. Big. So, yes. It's either getting sold on eBay or going in our living room. Oh, no, 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 no. But he's going to have to figure that out. I'll take pictures of it. And then comps were looking like maybe $300, and we did pay $25 for it. All right. I picked I can only do one at a time. Here. It's fun when I pick something up and you say no. Oh, I know. You guys, the video would have been funny because he brings it to me. And I thought he was joking and I just automatically went no. And he went yes. <laughs> and he bought it. You can, But you can sell taxidermy. Mm -hmm. there, eBay has rules. You look them up. You can't do reptiles. Yeah, there's certain you, animals, you know, any rhinoceros, elephants, or any of their products. Anything with ivory. Yeah, I think certain reptiles you couldn't do. I don't think you can do any reptiles. You can't do house pets like cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. Bear, anything bears. Birds. Birds. Lots of birds are restricted. No bears. But people hunt bear here. So I'm, I'm maybe they're more rare in other places, and that's why they don't allow it. But, don't but there are certain taxidermy you can do. These small mammals that are frequently trapped or hunted are probably quite all right. Yeah. The guy who sold this to us said he actually... Purchased it from one of our local elementary schools. I guess it was there on display for years and they sold it. Picked up a couple of these. They are Williamsburg Pottery. I have a few more of them. So I may go ahead and end that listing and add more just to kind of, you know, make it like an instant collection. I think I want to pay, yeah, $2 for these each. Right, here's the other lovey. Same thing, same except just different colors. I'm trying to see if I can. I can't even read it on this tag. They definitely need a bath. But this lovey. Oh, here's the other little nylon bodied animal. This one's taken. Oh. I did grab one of the. Poo. She had poo, a small poo collection. I went ahead and grabbed um, Tigger. He was $2 also. I just thought he was intriguing. Kind of real furry. And then this. This was probably one of my favorite treasures there. I don't find this very often. It is Leapfrog. Twinkle, twinkle, little scout. There is another one. I think it's little violet and she's purple. A lot of times these blankets are missing. There was a time when I sold these for about 50 plus. I'm hoping that they're still about that much. Um, it's going to need just a little bit of spot cleaning, but I, this is this is a thrill. And I think all of the plush were like a dollar each. Every time you say there was a time, I get, a time. I get Travis Tritt and Martin Stewart in my brain. We stopped at one yard sale. And all of these transformers, I think most of them were like a dollar each. So I picked up these two. Very interesting. And then some of these had their, their instructions with them. The thing is, I never can get these to go from one, the open to the closed. I just have such a hard time. Here's another one. A lot of these that um, I still are in here, they also had their weapons and their accessories, so that was just an added plus. Yeah. And here's another one. Sorry. With its accessories. I don't find these. There was at one time I bought a bunch of these, and I did so well with them. Look, he's got his little accessories still in him and then there's like two more of them in this bag but i love finding them the thing is making sure 
that there's no broken pieces off of them. Then I paid $2 for this. This intrigued me because, fuck. It's a little Coleman tent. It's made by Tonka. And then there's a couple of sleeping bags. How actually, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's for, I don't know, hammocks? I don't know what, I've got two of these. I don't know. I'll have to, when I look this up, I'll probably find listings that show me how to put all of this together. And then there was a little gas can. Looks like a catapult or a treadmill or something. I'm thinking like, I don't know, chairs, hammocks, hassocks. Oh, probably some sort of hammock, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I've seen Bolo Buddies, Courtney, talk about these dresses. I went, I paid, I think, $2 each for them. But you can just tell this one is called Sheery. But you can just tell it's very vintagey. You know, it's the dresses that have the, this might be an underdress. I couldn't find anything that had the same tag. I went ahead and got it. And then there was this dress. I just thought it was adorable. Look at the tag. It says Allison Ann, zero to three months. And I think when I go to list it, I'm going to just, you know, first take a picture. I've seen Courtney do that before. Take a picture with it all the way out and then take pictures of the rest of it. But it was in very nice condition. She had others, but a lot of them had stains and they weren't these frilly, frilly dresses. I'm hoping at least 20 $25, if not more, for the two dresses. But, yeah. <laughs> this is not fun. And it's right, I'm right-handed, so. And I got to be in this thing for three weeks. And we're going to the 100-mile yard sale in Virginia on so Friday. It, and you've already been whining about being in it's that brace when it's hot. It's 90 degrees in this wrist thing. So, I'm trying to find one of those um, neck fans. And then I can maybe take the fan and put it down my hand because yeah it's going to be miserable but i'm looking forward to it we're going to be going with t and pickers tim and jerry going to pick them up on our way and just spend the day up at the 100 mile yard sale just hopefully running into a few people we might know hopefully yeah i can't remember the name of the lady that said she was going to be in state road north carolina we're starting up in withville i'm not sure if we'll get that far down but if we are we well, will definitely hunt her, hunt hunt her down. down. <laughs> she said she was going to be at JNS, JNR Auto Sales mm -hmm. or next to that. So. Right. So hopefully we'll run into some people we might know. All right. Let's all get to work. Bye.